All right, so today we're taking on something called the Viking Burger. Uh, it sounds pretty intense. But look at me. I look the pot. Let's see if I can eat the pot. This car's falling to pieces. <laughs> Right, today I'm at uh, a place called Shepherd Place Farm, which you might remember, um, I visited, I think it was two, two, three years ago? Yes. I'm still up on the, on the wall of fame <laughs> over there. That was a breakfast challenge. Uh, today I'm taking on the, the brand spanking new giant burger challenge, and it is giant, and it's called the, uh, the Viking Burger. Which is ten and a half pounds. Ten and a half pounds. <laughs> do you have an hour to do it, Adam? An hour, and uh, look at this. A big shiny knife, too. <laughs> Better than average. It's a beef, I guess like a, a regular, like just a large beef yeah, patty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bunch of green stuff, as you can see, healthy vegetables. Some chips, onion rings and uh, coleslaw, or some kind of slaw. Looks delicious. Can't wait to tuck into it, kind of. Right, let's get the timer going. Good luck. <laughs> the bread cake alone is massive. Oh, eggs on there as well. <laughs> the bread cake is kind of falling apart on me. What's up, Army? Welcome back. That was a long one. Welcome back to another episode, and man, have I got a video for you today. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing, it, it was big. It was really big. <laughs> so big, the uh, the plate full of food is just making me chuckle to myself. <laughs> Anyway, this is called the, uh, the Viking Burger. I think that's the third time I've said it now. Mushrooms too. Oh yeah, and as if it wasn't, you know, hard enough already, the dreaded shrooms are on there too. Oh, man, I can't get away from that. I can't catch a break. <laughs> Mushrooms in the, in pretty much every video this month. I've got all the veggies. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like vegetables. I spend my week eating salads. A lot of you might know that already. But this is preposterous. Look at it. I saw a picture online in advance. It's pretty new. But I thought, yeah, that looks like it's, you know, pretty simple. But this is what tends to happen when I tell people <laughs> in advance that I'm paying them a visit. I don't know. Things just seem to double in size. <laughs> I've just made like a, a giant bacon sandwich. <sighs> There's so much left. <laughs> I'm watching this now thinking if somebody clicked on this video and then skipped straight to like three minutes in they'd be thinking wait a second <laughs> isn't it supposed to be a burger challenge I think we've gone past that point now <laughs> it's just a bunch a bunch of food on a on a, on a plate and oh, it, it's getting tough now I can finally see some uh, tree here it's like Moses part in the sea <laughs> a biblical reference for a biblically sized challenge, I think you'd agree. <laughs> anyway, this is, uh, yeah, the Viking Burger. Fourth time I've said it now. <laughs> and it's available at Shepherd's Place Farm. If you want to take a shot at it, I'd uh, encourage you to have a look at their website because um, I've forgotten how much it costs. <laughs> but you do get it free if you finish in an hour. I think you get a t-shirt and definitely a spot on the Wall of Fame. <laughs> There's too many vegetables here. There's too many. Yeah, I'm all but certain this thing contains probably my recommended daily intake of vegetables for the week, if not the month, but it also contains a, uh, a rather large beef burger patty, some bacon, mushrooms, as I mentioned, vegetables, onion rings, and of course, loads of chips too. Uh. <laughs> I forgot that part. Um, yeah, just smacked my hand on the table there, which was pretty painful. Not as painful as eating all these vegetables, but I've had it been a... Uh, a little clumsy sometimes. Oh. Maybe I should bring a, a towel with me to, to every food challenge. That way I don't have to ask for like a huge stack of napkins. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Something's killing me, man. 
Yeah, I quit whining, you big baby. What's it with you and chips? Anyway, <laughs> the burger tasted good. The burger patty, the, the bacon, enjoyed that very much. The chips even were, were pretty decent. But man, the amount of vegetables in this thing. In fact, around this point, we're almost 19 minutes in. And I remember thinking that I might just have to bail on this because I really did not want to eat this huge pile of cold vegetables. I want to eat that. Yeah, all the, all the toothpick thingy. That's not edible. But you know, I thought, let's let's just push through. It's gonna be tough, but uh, there's glory to be had. I wanna get some coke, but there's no one around. Yeah, I, yeah man's getting desperate at this point. I, I'm looking for just something sweet and, and fizzy. But oh, look at that, it's the coleslaw too. As if it wasn't bad enough already. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted something sweet and fizzy just to take the edge off, you know, and, and give it a slightly more interesting flavor. <sighs> Just a big old pile of vegetables now. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> oh, a chip. Ordinarily, that would be a, a bad thing, but it's actually quite, quite pleasant amongst all this salad. I say, you know I'm in trouble if I'm actually looking forward to the chips. <laughs> that, that's not usual. If I, can, I don't want to eat vegetables with my hands. <laughs> Come off it, son get stuck in there pretending like I'm waiting for the cutlery. I think I'm probably just trying to take a breather. You can see my face. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I didn't see you there, mate. Could I get um, uh, just like a, a, a fork? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, the vegetables get into me now. Maybe I should have done the vegetables first. Because nobody looks forward to vegetables, you know, when you, when you, when you get in there, when you've been eating a while. Yeah, that, that is true. I didn't really strategize much with this one. Might have been an idea to, to do the vegetables first, but ideally I would have liked to pick the whole thing up and eaten it like a burger, but that never really pans out. You know, the bread often doesn't stand up to the, the weight of ingredients on the inside. Just doing a quick time check now, 30 minutes. And actually, it was kind of a novelty to do a burger challenge, which was legitimately one large burger, because often you find it's a bunch of regular-sized patties stacked up in a tower. So I, to do it this way, it was, I don't know, it was pretty fun. These red onions, man, they're messing with my mojo. I can't pick the other stuff up. Yeah, you often forget, you know, there aren't that many food challenges that I know of that contain lots of vegetables, right? Uh, especially uncooked vegetables. So you, see, you kind of forget how difficult they are to eat in, in large volumes, just because they're kind of fiddly, you know, it's hard to pick them up and stuff. I'm just making excuses. I'll tell you, man, after this, I never want to see another vegetable again. Oh. Look at that, a piece of bacon amidst all the vegetables. That's that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, that that uh, that slice of bacon there, that did help. Kind of like punctuated the, the salad with something that tasted good. <laughs> anyway, um, we're almost there. You'll be happy to know I, I, I time-lapsed a lot of this because it's, it's pretty much just me scooping vegetables off a, a, a greasy surface. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. <sighs> The onions are making me cry. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome to finish these. Uh, that one. <coughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Those onions were rough. <sighs> That good? No. Oh. Oh, I tell you. They realised that you didn't like veg. <laughs>